Are you in the market for a soft-sided cooler that's not going to break the bank? Stay tuned. Cooler review, coming up next. What is going on guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. Before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Double Leaf. They went ahead and sent me one of their 30 can soft-sided coolers for a full review. Uh, so if you guys like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and be a subscriber to the channel if you have not already. These guys' link will be in the description below, so be sure to check them out. Without any further delay, let's get right into the review. Alrighty, as you guys can see, uh, this cooler is made of a very shiny uh, plastic coating. I believe it's a TPC coating of some sort. It's very strong. It is rip, tear, and snag resistant. So it's going to store without ripping, tearing, or snagging on a lot of different objects which is a bonus of this cooler. Uh, it's also got a fish scale on the top of the cooler. I believe that's up to 12 or 14 and a half inches. This cooler weighs four pounds when it's empty, so it's relatively light. Uh, it's not gonna break your back carrying it around. And even when it's full, it's gonna be somewhat lighter than a regular roto-molded cooler. Uh, and it's gonna be easy to pack around. It also does have a shoulder strap on it. We will put that on once we pop her open. Uh, this cooler also has a couple accessories around it. On the back side, it does have a Velcro, or not a Velcro, a plastic buckle so you can buckle towels, other miscellaneous items to the cooler itself. Uh, on the front side here, you guys can see that it does have a exterior pouch that opens up. It is waterproof and leak proof. Uh, this zipper is a leak proof zipper. Uh, I'm not quite too sure on how well it works at being leak proof. I haven't tested it. That is one thing that we will test along with the ice retention of this cooler. Uh, this cooler also has a bottle opener on it. Uh, I know my parents, when they go, they often drink a lot of bottles. I'm not really a big bottle drinker, but a lot of people are. And they do put bottles in these guys. It is nice to have a bottle opener on your cooler right there. Uh, the handle on this cooler is a little uh, T-strap or a T, I believe it's called a T-strap cooler. Uh, it really allows for a nice easy pull. Unlike a lot of those other cheaper coolers, they just have the D-ring, you have to put your finger in it. This gives you a little more leverage and the zipper is quite easy to zip. Uh, I was using a Ozark Trail soft cooler the other day and it was pretty hard to actually zip it open and zip it closed. This one it does feel pretty smooth for the first time user. Uh, I don't think that you can do it with one hand without holding the cooler down. I know a couple people did complain of that. They want to be able to open it with one hand. I don't know about that. You're going to probably need two. As we open this cooler up, we can see that the lid does have a, a sizable piece of foam on it which is pretty nice. It's even got these little rubber spots on the cooler lid to keep that zipper rounded at the edge so it does make it easier to zip close. Um, the cooler does come with some zipper lubrication. Uh, they do recommend putting that on the zipper just to make it rust free and to make it a little bit easier to zip. Uh, we may put some on, but for now it does feel pretty good. It does come with a strap, a shoulder strap here. We'll put this on. Pretty nice shoulder strap. I'd say that's that's a standard. Just a, actually, that's not a bad pad. It's kind of a gel pad, I would say. A really soft gel pad. It's better than nothing. It's better than just a regular cloth strap. So let's go ahead and put this on. It does have handles here on the sides as well. So. That's another nice feature. You can carry this on your shoulder or carry it with two hands or one hand. It does have the straps here in the middle as well. Shoulder strap is pretty easy to install. Just clips right on. And there we go. Shoulder strap installed. Quick, easy. How do I look? Does it look good? Does it look comfortable? Does it look easy? It should because it is. Alrighty, enough for that nonsense, guys and girls. Uh, let's look into this cooler here. I'll tilt it up. 
as you guys can see, there is a decent amount of insulation on the inside. Uh, it's about a half inch or so, I would say. And even on, on the lid, uh, there is a decent amount of insulation right here. So uh, it does look like a little bit better cooler than your average Walmart soft pack. Uh, I will give it that. But I have not actually used this cooler yet. So I am excited to run it through the ringer, guys. We're going to see if she actually floats, if it actually is waterproof, and the lid is actually leak proof. Uh, so we have some tests to do. And of course, we're going to see the absolute maximum ice retention on this bad boy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching. This channel does not exist without the support of you guys. So I appreciate it, and I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. See you in the next one.